Chris brought me a clown. So. Yes. My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. We're about to turn it on. What's going on YouTube? So uh, obviously this is not Craig. So <laughs> this is my buddy Chris Davenport from How you doing? DS. Do you is it DS Balls or D's it, Balls? It's D's Balls. D's so, Balls. Yeah, I named uh, that company after uh, my brother. It was a saying he used to say as a kid. I have a, a sixteen year old, a sixteen year younger than me brother, and. So he uh, he used to run around the house as a kid saying that. So okay, <laughs> my last name is Davenport, so it, yeah. it works. I got you. I got you. Yeah. So these balls, not these balls. balls. These yeah. balls. That's uh can be taken a couple of different ways. I yeah, guess. it's it's how you want to take it. So so anyway, uh, Chris is our hemp guy. This is our hemp that we've been trying out. Um. Chris is from Stewart, Florida. Stewart, Florida, yes. And drove six hours last night to bring us a lot of this stuff. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do my, I guess, well, what do we want to call this here? My, uh, my review slash opinion about this bedding and a couple more episodes. Um, so how did you get into the hemp? Um, well, I was um, I used it at first for my rats, and um, which he swears is the way to go. It's the way to go. Um, our rat building is next to our pool um, in our backyard. So um, whenever my family was out doing spending time in the pool, they would always smell the rats. Smell the rats. So you live in a nice house. You have a pool and. You smell rats and my wife was like hey something's gotta, gotta go. give so i looked at getting buildings but then trying to find a landlord that hey i'm gonna breed rats in this building a lot of people are against that so i ended up uh someone told me about the hemp and i, I went from changing it once a week to changing every three or four weeks wow so I, i'd spend usually four to five hours uh so even though you you are paying more for a product than you would pine shavings? Yeah, pine shavings, yeah. You're saving yourself 15 to 20 hours a month. Yeah, exactly. At work. Yes. Well, last time I checked, 15 to 20 hours costs a lot of money. Yeah, it does. It does. So it's almost worth spending on the hemp to save the time. Exactly. So the, the hemp bedding tends to just last longer because of why? Um, it's it's the way it interacts with the it doesn't break down um, like the pine shavings um, it's a four times um, rate of absorption into the the into the wood chip or into the hemp bedding um, and then there's also it it repels bugs it um, it's just overall it's uh dust dust free so um on that stuff it, it just lasts longer <laughs> all right so it, it reacts really well against the ammonia of the rats so gotcha i have not tried it on the rat yet so 
Chris just brought us enough to experiment with the rats as well. Yeah. So I'm going to try it out on the rats for a couple of weeks before I do a review on the rats and the snakes. Yeah, so. sounds good. Chris is also picking up a snake from us, so we'll show that right at the end. But he also brought up a couple of snakes, that, some projects that he's working. So we thought we'd catch those on film and show y'all guys. So let's check these out. Mm. All right. Obviously, this is some form of lizard. Yes, it's a, it's a uh, a lesser Hattari Het VPI example. Okay, cool. So, obviously we can see the lesser of butter there. So what are some of the characteristics on this? And what are the uh, characteristics are there on the Hattari? So the Hattari is a granite gene. Um, and it kind of pixelates the alien head and then widens them out. Gotcha. And... Um, the super form is the Atari, which I haven't made one yet, but it totally pixelates the whole animal and just throws it. Nice. Definitely looks good. Yeah. So this is the male. So you brought some of his babies um, that some of them have less or some of them don't, but we can get some, some more uh, visual references of what the Atari does. Yeah, a lot of stuff hasn't been done with the gene yet. Um, the gene was used to be called the Super Z, and then it got rebranded um, by Sean Bradley. And um, then I bought a pair of them from Sean when he was getting into the fishes. Yep. Um, so I, I heard a story about this Atari that totally pixelated the animal, kind of looked monsoonish with the pixelation, the dots and everything, and I never saw one. And then one day I was sitting in my kitchen strolling through Morph Market and I saw these two animals on there and I called Sean up and I was like, hey, I, I, wanna, I want this project. All right, so single gene form? So this is the single gene. Hattari, so you can see the granity pattern, Definitely. the keyholes on it. Right on. And all these are POS head VPI exactly. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. So uh, definitely more of a copperish um, brown color. Yeah. I would definitely say the backing, the almost like a black backish look to it as well. So pretty interesting. Obviously, it's something that uh, needs, like many genes out there, yeah. needs some, something else to really make it pop. So. Yeah, it's just trying, you know, not much has been done with it yep. um, that you can find. Um, there might be someone back there breeding them right. that you don't know about. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so I'm currently, I have it into, you know, I put it into spider yellow belly, yellow belly. Um, I've also put it into a leopard pastel and I put it into a coral glow uh, pinstripe so just trying some different genes before we get the recessive stuff into it to really see what the gene does and then what combos make the gene pop or, uh, and look good. So that is key you know everybody thinks recessive 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 but if you don't yeah. get those Codominance, and if you can't figure it out with a codominance, recessive is only going to make it worse. Exactly. So you know, thing is, really, this is one of the projects that I, I kind of fell in love with from the Atari, and it's just trying to figure out, you know, what does it do. So the next one we have, this is a yellow belly, Get an escapee, a yellow belly Atari. As you can see, definitely yellow belly. Definitely yellow belly. Yep. You can see the granity pattern. The keyhole, the wide keyhole yep. extensions, and then you can see the flaming coming up on the side. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, just already just one gene difference yeah. went, went from a kind of a normal looking snake to a much, much more golden. I definitely like the yellow belly, which I like yellow belly stuff anyway. So I think we're going to put this one up because uh, it's going yeah. a little crazy. All right, so let's uh, put this one up and bring out what we got next. So next we have the lesser. Atari. So this is the same thing that that is. Yes. So the lesser Hatari, again, you see the wide keyholes, alien heads. It's uh, granity, kind of pixelated. Yeah. It's funny how it works so well with lesser. Yeah. And that's the thing is, like, there's only one picture of the Atari, and it's with lesser. And I was talking to a gentleman yesterday, uh, Arzaros, 
about it and he's like is it the Atari or is it the lesser fighting the granite gene <laughs> and um, you know is it the lesser fighting against that granite gene so not happy no they had a long ride last night they had a long ride last night and you got one more so this one right here is the lesser yellow belly Atari. Yeah, I can see it. We hit huh. a few of these um, here. So you can see the, you know, the flaming, you know, it's more gold if you look at the yellow belly there. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it really works well together. Oh, the one in the middle is not happy. Oh. Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference between the two. Yeah. These things like to eat. <laughs> They like to eat, so um, we um, we've been uh, they've had a had a few meals and we've uh, they don't miss a meal. I'll say that. Good. Well, I am uh, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, with the Lester's. I mean, Lester and Mojave are kind of staples in the industry. You know, everybody has them, but uh, to really show something that's very unique or different with those jeans is, you know, pretty impressive. So, uh, the yellow belly definitely amps it up. Yeah. I definitely like the yellow belly stuff. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, but we, you know, the, the whole basis is keep getting, you know, stacking jeans. So now we know what the lesser does. This is the first time that a yellow belly has been produced that I know of. And now... Few. Now we have the lesser, the yellow belly, and the Atari. All in one. All yep. in one. So now it's like, okay, now what do, what we do you put, do next? What yep. do you do next? Blackhead. Blackhead. All right. <laughs> oh, good stuff. All right, we're going to put these up, and he brought us something else we're going to check out. It doesn't take much to impress my wife. I'm yeah. Just, I'm just kidding. So as soon as he pulled out a bag, she wouldn't even turn the camera on. Uh, she was like, "Oh, that's pretty." So, yeah, man, this is completely unique. Really dig it. So, what is it? So, this is a rainbow inchy, nice. and it came from uh, Herman over in albino reptiles over in Europe. Nice. So, European snake. European, yeah. I um, you know, I was looking at something. I wanted to get something different that not a lot of people had, yep. and then had color. Yep. And not that anybody could just like a banana or coral grow. So this is a recessive snake, um, and there's a few lines of the rainbow. One line doles out a little bit, and this one is sitting about 700 grams and still has the oranges yep. of when it came in nice yeah i like this yeah and it's not i can already tell you i want to see blackhead version of this one yeah yeah so that's the that's the goal is start again um ghost has been put into it um, yeah i've seen some uh, renee renee yeah so i have a couple um have a in pastel inchy ghost possible het rainbow female from him and i have a od inchy ghost possible het rainbow from him that are they're sitting about 1300 grams oh nice so um is next year is to get them in with him oh, so you're leaving this here with me uh it's always negotiable <laughs> <laughs> this is a male i'm giving yeah it's a male so, so yeah he's um i i paired him up um mm -hmm. with some to make uh 100% heads. I have yep. one girl that will probably in the next couple months. Um, it's an inchy 100% head desert or inchy head rainbow that I also got from Herman to go nice. along with with him. Yeah. So hopefully we get some visual super inchy yeah um, rainbows. I'd like to uh, I'd like to jump on on some of this project. I think yeah, it's pretty dope. Definitely. And again, not a lot of people have it, so it makes it more interesting. Yeah, not a lot of people have it. It's a res recessive, so it's harder to make. Um, Which means and, more rack space for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's... Um, and the nice thing about this is the oranges with uh, Herman's line stay more orange than the other line that's floating out there. Okay. Chris brought me a clown. 
So yes. I guess we're fixing to uh, check that one out. So obviously it's a clown. Yeah. What we got? So right here we had, I had a YB clown het pied that I put to a super pastel Mojave head clown. And I hit three of these. So, so pastel Mojave yellow belly. Is it yellow belly? How do you tell it's yellow belly? Not that I know clowns, but. So the yellow belly with the, the striping and blushing, it. blushing gotcha. through it. Okay. Yeah. And Not down you, I just. I just don't know. I can tell it's yeah. pastel Mojave. Yeah. So, and then the yellow belly on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So it was actually this. That's was actually one. great odds for that pairing. Right. Exactly. And possibly at Biden. And possibly at Biden. Yeah. Nice. But they were all males. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So it was. Uh, the D's balls nut shot. <laughs> oh, it was. It was. There was seven eggs out of there i got six males and one female and the female was a pastel yellow belly head clown posset by not bad yeah it wasn't bad um but you know nice snakes they're healthy eating well and stuff so it's it's good nice yeah that's a that's some of my odds there yeah but it happens everybody thinks they're gonna get what they want on every parent and oh yeah you know it doesn't work out that way most of the time yeah, so. no, it's it's uh, it's crazy how it works, and uh, this was one of the first ones that came out, and um, it was actually my first visual clown clutch that I produced. Nice. So, are you working a lot of clowns? Um, I have a fair amount of clowns. So everybody um, hits me up and that uh, doesn't really know who I am, but ask me if I have clowns at least yeah. every other day. Yeah, I can they just send know. them to you. Yeah, you can send them to me. You know, I have this year. I have uh, probably. Six or seven clown clutches that will come out out of the twenty-eight to twenty-nine clutches that we'll have this year. You guys, not bad. Yeah. So no, that's pretty, man. I mean, it's, it's not that I hate clown. I just don't. Uh, I just don't have any. It's not a. Just not. Some a, someday we'll take you to the clown side. Yeah, I guess Justin will probably end up making something that I'm not going. Every time I go up there, I get like this close. Oh, this you close see to him mine, and so. yeah. I just it's uh it's another recessive project and man I just have so much we were just talking about I think I'm gonna have to sell some 2019 holdbacks because I'm running out of room. Yep. But uh, it's just uh, when you work these recessive projects they just take up a lot of space but they do command a a uh, you know a bigger price. Exactly. So that's cool though, man. Nice looking snake. Thank you. So all right, so uh, are you done showing off your stuff? Yeah. Do you yeah. want to see who you're getting now? Oh, I definitely. Definitely. So this is what Chris is picking up, and unfortunately, she's going in the shed, but hey, uh, she'll look it? better in a couple of days. No, it's amazing. So, this is a pastel vanilla leopard, and she is double head for Hypo and Desert Ghost. Yeah. So, I owe Chris a little favor, and he brought up some hemp, and we just worked it all out. But uh, it's a pretty sick little girl, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, I've been building an army of females behind. I have a, a super pastel chocolate desert ghost hypo male. Nice. Um, so I've been snatching up all the head desert ghost head <laughs> hypos. I have plenty more. You want to take some yeah, more? Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been <laughs> snatching up quite a bit of them to uh, get this little army behind this male. Yeah, a lot of people just don't understand the project. Uh, they don't they don't see the the monetary value in desert ghost stuff yeah. and then they don't understand why you want to put hypo and desert ghost together and i'm like how many adults have you actually seen yeah exactly and they're like well i had never seen one it's like if you physically you look at one. some of these hypo desert ghost adults not just babies because the babies have the egg not yeah. that impressive yeah it definitely the desert ghost hypos as they get older they it's crazy i promise you you come to my facility i have a couple of them when you look at them It'll change your mind on that project. Oh, definitely. So, definitely. yeah, powerhouse female, man. I mean, that's a uh, probably. I don't can't think of anybody else that's done pastel vanilla leopard double A hypo desert ghost. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, probably the only one out there. That's good. She's uh, gonna take the trip to Florida tonight. Sweet. All right. So, uh, 
anyway, we really appreciate Chris coming up. Uh, yeah. Go Thanks check him out. He do YouTube. Uh, I have Facebook. I'm gonna. I do some YouTube. Some, some starting. Which yeah, YouTube. some YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Instagram, Morph Market. Morph Market. Yes. So what's the easiest way for somebody to get in touch with you? Um, just on Morph Market or Facebook. Um, you know, my information is there. They can reach out to me. Right on. So go check him out. Yeah. And all his information will be down there somewhere. And you got anything else you want to say? No, thanks for having me. Enjoyed lunch with you and your family. And Happy thanks for, for showing me around today. So I enjoyed it. Right on. So see you all next week. Thanks. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics. And make sure you subscribe. Bye.